Hey everybody, what's up? This is Bad Out of Brooklyn, and today I am painting my fiance's helmet um, as part of his Christmas gift. Don't worry, he knows I'm doing this. I didn't just hijack his helmet and like assume he would be okay with it. We talked about it. He's trusting me. And uh, putting a lot of trust in myself too. A little scared. <laughs> Don't tell him that. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically I'm just gonna do a time lapse of the process of painting the helmet. Um, he has a matte black built well lane splitter. I am going to be using metallic gold paint to do a bandana design along the front. So I'll be coming down the sides and across the front to look like there's a bandana. Um, covering the front of the helmet. So in order to do this project, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I guess we'll find out along the way. I've painted one other helmet before this one, so um, I used similar items for that one and it worked out pretty well. Um, so in order to do this project, you will need transfer paper to transfer your design onto the helmet itself a water soluble pencil um, just to go in and like freehand or touch up a couple places where like maybe something didn't transfer as well as you would have liked. Um, super good to have on hand since it's water soluble it will wipe off the helmet. Um, chalk works too um, but this stays just like a little bit better. Just make sure when you're using something like this that the point is not too sharp um, and that you're not pushing too hard because you don't want to actually scratch the helmet itself, especially when it is a matte finish. Um, you will need painter's tape just so we can get a couple crisp lines and just so we can um, tape around like the, um, the opening, face opening, visor opening. I don't know hole of the helmet, <laughs> just so we don't get any paint inside the helmet by accident. Um, and then of course you will need paint and brushes. Um, I have a couple different brushes here, different sizes. And then I am using one shot enamel. Um, this is what I used on a different helmet and um, did a lot of research online and this seems to be like the popular product everyone's using. Um, again, this is only my second helmet. I am not a professional. Um, I am personally not sealing this helmet. Um, one, because it's matte finish, but two, I don't want to compromise the helmet itself. Um, I know if you put like the wrong type of sealant, paint, whatever on a helmet, you can actually compromise the helmet itself. So I do not want to do that. Um, so I will be using the one-shot enamel, um, which is what it says it is. It is an enamel. It will dry really hard. Um, as long as you're not like scratching and picking at it, it should be fine. Um, as far as sealing a helmet, can you see how, look, I'm nervous. Can you see I'm like sweating on the helmet? Can't see that? Just me? Okay, cool. <laughs> no, it's there. Um, as far as sealing a helmet, um, I won't tell you how to do that because I don't, I don't know and I don't want to give you the wrong information, so, um, don't ask me that in the comments. I will not have the answer. <laughs> I'm an honest gal, everybody. Um, but anyway, just to get started, um, since this will be a time lapse, it will be moving quickly. I will not be explaining throughout the video what I am doing. Um, I'm going to start by removing the visor and hardware. I will then be taping along the, um, the edge here to make sure that we don't get any enamel inside. Um, and then I'm going to dive right in and I'm going to transfer um, my artwork. I'm going to actually work in sections. I'm going to do the front first, smaller transfer area, um, and paint this first. So then this way I can ensure that like the artwork is centered and then work out on both sides. Um, the last thing I want to do is apply on one side, realize we are not centered, and then the rest of the artwork um, looks bad. So, want to avoid that. We want it to look good. 
that's the hope. I'm going to start with the front. I am going to transfer paint, let that dry and set. Then I will move on to one side, transfer paint, dry and set, move on to the final side, transfer paint, dry and set, and then we will be um, putting the visor back on and replacing the hardware. So um, wish me luck. And uh, here we go.
I am finally done with this helmet. Drum roll. Woo! All right, here it is. Look at her. She is hot. She is fierce. She is cute. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased. I'm actually really excited with how this came out. Finishing touches, I replaced the hardware as well. Um, I ordered a set of like bronze hardware from Bitwell um, and it was too, too like orangey in color. So I ended up just using the enamel and painting over those. Um, and I think that makes like such a big difference to help carry the color. Um, around the helmet and like balance it out. Um, I'm super stoked. This is only my second helmet I've ever painted, so I'm really happy with it. Um, a little shaky, but I mean, I don't, very shaky hands. Um, but overall, I think it's pretty crisp. Um, I mean, that's, that is the nature of hand painting versus using decals. Like, you are going to get that human, um, human touch, human quality, the um, slightly rougher lines. Um, so it's just a little more organic, which I personally prefer anyway. Um, so I am going to wrap this um, sexy little number up and uh, gift it to Luis for Christmas. Hopefully he likes it, <laughs> fingers crossed. I did it over the course of like over the course of three days, I put a couple hours in each day um, just to give the enamel time to set in between um, in between painting. I did have to go over this twice. Um, the the metallic, um, metallic paint in general I feel like kind of has this issue, um, but it's not as opaque as a solid color. Um, so I did have to go over it twice to really cover up the black. Um, otherwise, it was looking like a little streaky. You could see the brush, it, brush strokes um, and it just looked like almost like a little watered down. So definitely needed that second coat. Um, so that took a little longer than I was originally anticipating, but I ain't mad about it. Um, but yeah, I am planning on painting my own helmet. I did get a a new baby myself um, and I purposely got a white helmet because I want to do some black line work on it I'm not a hundred percent sure what I want to put on it yet um, but I will definitely make a video a similar time-lapse of me painting that helmet um, but yeah if you liked this video please click the like button if you want to see more videos like this subscribe um, if you have any questions please drop them in the comments below um, I didn't say this in the beginning, but I am a graphic designer and illustrator. Um, that is what I do for a living. So I love to find um, other outlets and other ways to um, be creative in my free time. And I do love getting down and dirty with some paint. So being able to merge um, my creative world with my moto world is is really great. Um, and I'm super stoked that I have the ability to do that. And I guess I'll see you next time.